going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the color of friendship. Blacktastic Media is back once again for another collab review. We're gonna be talking about The Color of Friendship, a Disney Channel original movie from 2000. I was about seven years old when this movie came out. We're gonna hear from Blacktastic in just a little bit, but a big thanks to him for being here in this video as usual. And you can find the link to his channel down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get into my thoughts on this movie and we're gonna go ahead and then jump into Blacktastic's. Yeah, this is a movie that, man, I gotta say really still holds up. You know, when I saw this movie when I was about seven years old, I I don't think I was able to really see the full depth of the narrative. Now, I've seen the movie over the course of years, and I obviously, as I got older, was able to understand it far, far more and really understand uh, the severity of it. But rewatching it today, especially in today's modern society, um, yeah, this is a movie I think a lot of people should check out. I think this is a movie that really speaks to the soul. And even though it's a Disney Channel original movie, compared to all the other ones that I've reviewed within the last year and revisited, I think without a doubt, this is easily the most serious of the bunch. This is the one that really doesn't pull any punches. This is a movie about a young girl from South Africa who is incredibly excited about the ability to uh, come to America through the student exchange program, or as we probably better know it as the foreign exchange student program. And uh, on the other side, you have a young girl who's part of a family who really wants her family to be a host to a student from South Africa uh, to come on over to the States and uh, she wants to be able to meet this person. And so you have two sides of excitement for two different reasons. Uh, the girl from South Africa just kind of wants to come to America for some fun. She has a romanticized uh, view of what America is. And then on the flip side, um, the, the family from America just kind of wants to be able to have somebody from uh, South Africa to come over so they can kind of share in their culture. And the reason I say that is because the family in America is a black family. The father of this family is actually a congressman who's actually fighting against uh, things that people in South Africa are doing against blacks, what the whites are doing against blacks. I should also mention this movie takes place, I believe in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken, and is based on true people, a, a true story from what I understand. I don't know the accuracy of the narrative. Yeah, this is just gonna be my thoughts on the movie in and of itself, but it, I know it is based on real people. So like I was mentioning, the family in America is black, and the girl who's coming from South Africa is actually a white girl coming from a white family. And at this time in particular, there's a lot of racism there are a lot of words used for the blacks in South Africa and they're kind of viewed more as servants as people who are kind of there to serve and kind of have to live by these rigid rules of having a past that allows them to move from city to city and where they can work and it's just essentially government control on the blacks in South Africa and for this young white girl that's just normal she does not see the severity of what's happening she does not believe in the negative view that people have of the South African government she ends up coming on this foreign exchange program they end up coming over and they miss each other at first at the airport and this movie has some pretty uncomfortable moments when right once they start meeting because you have the young girl from South Africa who she sees this black family as lesser than, you know, that's what she knows, that's what she's been taught. And so at the core of this movie is a story of somebody who is prejudiced, who is has built in racism through their upbringing, who is now kind of in a really tight situation where she's consistently uh, surrounded by people who are black, a, a black family. And she has to kind of cope with that and maybe start to realize uh, where she's wrong and how her family and everything that's normalized in South Africa for whites versus blacks is just wrong. And uh, yeah, this is a movie that really tugs on the heartstrings, has some really serious messages in there and 110% really deals with the message of prejudice and racism with, with like, like I said, no holding back of any of the punches. I really enjoyed the way that they chose to tell the story. There are some negatives and there are still some of those elements that are just made for TV, Disney Channel cheese and some performances that aren't 100%. We'll talk a little bit more about that on my uh, second half of the review. But what I could say right now as far as my general thoughts is I thought this movie really still held up. As soon as I started watching it last night with my girlfriend, we were incredibly engaged. We hardly spoke for half of the movie. We made you know comments here and there, maybe laughed at a couple of things that were funny, maybe a couple of things that were, you know, not didn't really hold up, some cheesy moments. But for the most part, the narrative itself is still really good. It felt like it kind of just breezed by as a movie and I was engaged in the narrative. I'm glad that I revisited it today at my current age because when I was a kid, you know, I, I just think it really comes down to 
the fact that I just didn't really have any sort of prejudice or racism instilled in me. You know, if you look at my channel, so many of the people, and this isn't, you know, I don't do it on purpose, but it's just, I just don't even understand the idea of racism or prejudice. So like, if you look at my channel, majority of the people that I collab with are of color. If you look at, you know, my Facebook page and look at my closest friends, all of my people that I consider my brothers, 99% of them are all black. It's, it's, it's just, I grew up in a very diverse area in South Florida and I've just always had nothing but love for people of all races and skin colors. And so to see a movie like this when I was younger, I don't think I was able to really lean into the severity of it other than just knowing that racism is a thing you know i already knew of you know slavery and all this kind of stuff but this movie really touches on all that and be able to see it from a different perspective and to see it today as an adult and really soak in some of the government um conversations that they have in this movie i think it really just made me appreciate the film even more now before i get into the rest of my thoughts on this movie let's go ahead and hear what black tastic had to say about this one Yo, what's up? On my man's channel, once again, Anthony A. Perez with another collab. My man hit me up via Instagram and shot me this poster, The Color of Friendship. I was like, I'm curious, you got my attention. Usually, me and Disney are a hit and miss, and um, I gave it a shot. This movie, absolutely captured my whole soul and just touched me in places I didn't think it was possible for a 20 year old Disney made for TV movie. The premise is there's a program where you could have a South African student come live with you for four months and go to school. And uh, this is really popular in the 1970s. This movie takes place in 1977. Now this black family, husband, wife, and three kids, two little boys and one teenage girl, I think she was 13, her name was Piper. She really wanted to have an exchange student come stay with them for four months and go to school. I mean, she would dress up in African attire. She would have her brothers play the drums and, and have drum music playing on the record player just to get her daddy's attention. He finally said, okay, we'll do it. Now, meanwhile, in South Africa, you see this family, they're white. And if you know anything about apartheid, white people in Africa, in this particular country, treat black people like shit, like slavery beneath them. I remember there was an opening scene at a restaurant in South Africa. This white family was sitting down having um, brunch. There was a little black waiter walking around, a young guy. He tripped and fell, or maybe somebody pushed him, spilled some stuff on a gentleman. Guy got mad, called him a keffer, and kicked him in the restaurant. Everybody just sat and watched, didn't do nothing. I'm like, damn. And keffer, if you don't know what that means, in South Africa, that's another name basically to use for the N-word. Very offensive. And this movie had my attention like, oh, okay. I started cracking my knuckles, you know, getting ready. I knew this movie's gonna have my attention. Well, that little white girl is the girl that get picked for the exchange student to go all the way to America to stay with the black family. Now this little white girl, in her home, she has a maid, a black maid. So in her eyes, black people are servants. They work in restaurants, they do things and stuff like that. They're not equal. And she's 14 years old, she don't know no better. That's all she's known and done her whole life. Her father's a policeman and um, they said, well, you'll go to America, be screaming and come back home, so go ahead, you can go. And when she first get there at the airport, this is funny, the exchange, um, they're looking for a black child and the white girl is looking for a white family because see, the black family, their father is a congressman. Yeah, in 1977, pretty rare. So they missed each other a couple of times. They finally realized, oh, this is you. They were both shocked and very displeased. It took days for them to warm up to each other. The white girl ran upstairs, didn't want to talk to nobody. She wouldn't eat. And, Piper, that's the little black girl. She was mad. Her mom, Roscoe, that's a weird name for her mother, Roscoe, but she was the one person in the movie who was even killed. She tried to see the best of both sides, man. The dad wanted her little white ass up out of there. You know, he hated apartheid. Matter of fact, his congressman division was currently 
actively fighting apartheid in South Africa. There was this um, leader in South Africa, a black leader, who was arrested. They labeled him as a terrorist. They arrested him and put him in jail. And that's like a little subplot that lingers on throughout the film. But slowly but surely, the walls break down. She calls her father crying. And he says, oh, uh huh, you want to come home now? You can't do it. And she sat there and realized like, no, I'm going to stick this out. And she walked in unexpectedly on a conversation, uh, the black family talking and realized how they felt. And a white girl felt kind of bad. She goes, you know what, I need to give this a shot. And as you know, with most Disney movies, they became great friends. The mom would take her out shopping at the mall. While they were shopping at the mall, they was eating at a little place out there in a food court. A young black gentleman's a waiter again. He trips and falls, gets pushed, and spills his shake and ice cream all over this one white dude. And the white girl's looking like, oh my God, they're gonna kick him. And she was, he was like, oh man, I'm so sorry. The white guy said, hey, hey, hey. Just bring me another one. This is really good and good and tasty. Hey, things happen, brother. And it was cool. No problem. And she was shocked. And she's seen all these black people live in this neighborhood in big two-story house. She goes, this is where you live? And she's like, the mom, Roscoe, like, yeah, this is where we live. We don't live in huts and, and clay houses like in Africa. She was like, the movie is extremely cute. And they got the cutest little white girl and little black girl to play these roles. They made the best friendship couple. And slowly but surely, she's learning how black people are equal, how people are treated differently, how you can be white and black and walk hand in hand together at the mall and shop together. You know, it's it was really refreshing. Um, so many tender moments of grandeur and education in this movie. Like a girl picks up a book about Roots written by Alex Haley. And she was flipping through the page and the father said, you know what? That's a good book to read. Matter of fact, it's the best book in the house. If you don't finish it, take it home with you. So there's nothing but love being spread. But all along the line, there's a subplot about South Africa and a gentleman that arrested. Come to find out that police beat him to death and he died in prison. They try to make it look like that he killed himself, but that wasn't the facts. So that's when he had protests, picketing going on. And the South African government found out that the little white girl was staying with a black family in America. They came and snatched her up. They didn't want nothing to do with this. Now you need to come back to your country. This ain't safe. And man, her father being a congressman got her to stay. And um, there was a happy ending. But throughout this movie, it really touched my soul how Disney really tackled subject matter of this extent it was very very well done very impressive it's an old film it looks like stock footage <laughs> from you know anything on a vhs tape but i gotta tell you this the soundtrack was amazing they played a lot of funk and soul and upbeat soul music in this movie a lot of earth wind and fire which is my favorite r b group of all time so this movie was great i noticed it i got up early in the morning to watch this film and slowly but surely, family members of mine were walking in, eating breakfast, drinking orange juice, and they would start watching a the film. They all sat down and started watching it. My nephew, he's in his early 20s, he don't give a damn about movies like this. He sat and watched the whole movie with me. That tells me this movie is special. I know I'd be ragging on Disney a lot. I'm not a big Disney supporter, but this movie, Disney, we're here. I love this film. Everybody, and I mean everybody, to watch this film on Disney Plus, The Color of Friendship. If you detest racism, if you don't understand the politics in different countries, because you're from Africa doesn't mean you're running free with the buffaloes and lions. No, your ass might be a slave in your own country by white folks. It's a must watch. Great film. My man, Anthony A. Perez, the stage is yours. Educate these folks about the color of friendship. Peace, until next time. A big thanks once again to Blacktastic Media for being here in another video. Loved hearing your thoughts, man. I love that this movie was able to grip you. And I love hearing the story about the fact that your family was slowly trickling in and watching. Because as I was watching it, I was like, yeah, this movie 110% 
could just pass as not a Disney Channel original movie. It touches on some very serious things. They even use the N word in this film with the hard R. And I, you know, when I was watching it, I kind of like was like taken aback because I totally forgot that that happens. And I was like, man, this is on Disney Plus. This is a movie that used to be on the Disney Channel when I was a kid. And it just goes to show how much the world has changed because it's a sad reality that this movie probably won't be featured on Disney Plus, something that, you know, you kind of have to search it out, you kind of seek it out to be able to watch it. And it's not really a movie that you they probably air on Disney Channel today. And it's not a movie that they would ever probably make today. As I was watching it, I couldn't help but think that if this movie was done today with, with a new writer and, and a really solid director and with a, maybe a bigger budget that wasn't made for TV, or even if it was made for TV in today's, you know, current TV standards, uh, we could really, really get a, a much better movie here. But I think at the core of what this movie is i think it really tackles the the idea of prejudice and racism uh, head on i think it, it doesn't pull any punches like i said they, they drop the n-word in here to really land the severity of what's happening to, to, to really just let the audience know how wrong what's happening is you know what i mean and i just thoroughly really enjoyed this movie i wasn't bored at all revisiting it uh the performances for the most part are really good from our main characters but you know there are definitely elements and, and characters especially some of the younger actors that it does not really hold up 100 percent. there are a couple lines of dialogue that made my girlfriend and i like very very much laugh out loud laughing just simply because it some of the performances from some of these kids or just random things in the movie uh made me laugh there were a handful of moments where um they'd be in one scene where you could see somebody's face from one angle but then it would cut to another angle where you know obviously they did another take and the face of a character will be completely different but then it would come back to that same angle from before and the face would change again so those little inconsistencies in the editing and stuff like that that definitely stood out as just on a technical level are kind of funny uh, another one that i found to be kind of funny while i was watching it was uh just some of the shots like i mentioned this was released on the disney channel and in some of these scenes there is just really gr great just made for TV quality, camera quality in some of these shots, especially some of the big shots. Watching it on a 4K TV today, yeah, it looks so grainy. It did not look good. There are a couple shots of this movie that don't hold up. And it's a shame because, like I said, I think that might turn some people off, but I think that if this movie was made today with a, with a different director and a different writer, I think they'd really be able to make a really solid movie. But as far as this movie in and of itself, I think it's I think it's well acted for what it needs to be. I think it tells a real story. I think it doesn't pull any punches. I love that this is part of Disney's filmography. I wish they'd make more movies like this that touch on really serious things. I think outside of it handling this you know idea of prejudice and racism, it, it kind of deals with it slightly on both sides. You know, at first you kind of feel for the black family because this girl comes over and she's incredibly insensitive she's inc incredibly prejudiced and she kind of has this viewpoint that makes you just want to jump in the tv and just slap her but as you're watching it what i really enjoy especially from the mother uh character her name is roscoe in the film she really pushes for the idea that hey like this stuff is taught and i think this movie really if anything really narrows down on that idea that the racism and prejudice it's taught you know like for me like i grew up in a very diverse area i have two loving parents that never ever instilled any form of racism into me it's not something that ever came naturally to me and it's not something that i don't think ever comes natural to anybody you know at the end of the day it's something that's taught it's something that's kind of systemic and yeah you know watching this movie it really touches on that fact and how this young girl is somebody who can be changed and to be able to see her grow throughout the course of the film and how she starts to realize you know what her family thinks what her government thinks their viewpoint on on the black community how it's wrong um, i think that that growth as a character and uh that message throughout the course of the film is what's really great beyond fighting prejudice and fighting racism it's really being able to also realize that somebody may be pre prejudiced somebody may be racist but there is still that ability to show them another side, to show them why it's wrong, you know what I mean? That's where it starts. And, and I think that that was probably one of the, my favorite things about the movie is this young girl really realizing what is wrong. And the one last thing I'll mention on that is that the young uh, white girl named Mari from South Africa, uh, she has like a maid back home that she considers her best friend and, and she's a black woman. 
And um, you can tell that she kind of just sees her as kind of a servant throughout the course of the film, but she has, you know, a, a positive outlook on her. You know, she doesn't like hate her, but she just kind of sees her as lesser than. And when she gets back to South Africa, her first instinct was, was to run straight to this woman and give her the biggest hug because she recognized that she has not treated her the way she truly should have been treated all of these years. So yeah, I kind of rambled my thoughts a little bit here in some of the parts of this review, but a big thanks to you guys for watching and a big thanks to Blacktastic for being here in this video. You can find the link to his channel down below in the description box as usual. And yeah, this is a movie I do highly recommend. It's currently on Disney+, Plus, The Color of Friendship. I highly recommend it. And I think especially right now, in the current climate of the culture, I think it's a movie that would definitely speak to a lot of people and remind us how far we've come when it comes to prejudice and racism and how we still have a lot of, of battling to do in that area. So a big thanks to you guys for watching. Please comment your thoughts down below. Do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? And if you haven't seen this movie, you know, are you interested? I would definitely love to hear your thoughts. If you do go check out this movie after this review, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. It helps the channel out. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.